Welcome to Brecon High School News. It is Friday the 4th of March. Good morning. Yesterday was World Book Day and Brecon High School has been getting involved. Pupils and staff have been decorating doors as well as sharing favourite books. Let's take a look. The winner of Best Door hadn't been decided when we recorded this, but we can now reveal that the winner is. In two weeks time it will be Red Nose Day. Over to the charities group to explain more about what Brigham High School will be doing for this annual event. It's two weeks till Red Nose Day, we hope to see you there. Red Nose Day is coming up on Friday the 18th of March. There's going to be lots of fun activities to do. On Thursday the 17th of March there's going to be a bake sale in the theatre during break and lunch. Hello everyone, today's sign is pizza. I know, my favourite sign too. Pizza, okay, and this is done with BSL finger spelling. So we spell out the letter P and the Z. Pizza. I know, fascinating. Might do some more letters next week. We'll see if Mr Hutchison has time to come and visit me. Bye. Now it is time for Thought for the Week. Normally when it's the thought for the day, it's been a senior leader in the school or it might even be another member of the teaching staff. But when I speak about staff in the school, and you remember this when we talk about our school rule, follow all staff instructions, it's not just teachers. It's anybody that's in this building that's working with you. And it takes really quite a massive team of staff to be able to run this building so that you can come here and learn. And we don't just have teachers, we've got support staff within the classes, We've got social workers that work with us, we've got community learning folk, we've got Angus Alive staff here in the building, and we've also got Tayside contract staff, we've got janitors, cleaners, and we've got kitchen staff. And if none of these people are here, then we couldn't really deliver the service that we have for you. We couldn't really get you in class and get you learning to the best of your ability. So the team that's putting this together has had the idea that instead of just asking teachers, are just asking the most important ones to give you the wee thought for the day that they wanted to ask other people. So this week, we've asked the janitors if they would speak to you and if they would share a little bit about their role here and about what it's like working with you. So I'll hand over to you now and let you go over to the janitors. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tracy and I work for Tayside Contracts. We all come to school every day and expect to find a place clean and tidy. Our cleaning team work really hard to make sure that our school is a safe and hygienic place for us all to be. They work long hours, some starting as early as 5am and coming in into the building until 9pm. Without their help, you can imagine what it would be like coming into the building every day. 
sitting at a dirty table in the canteen and amongst litter on the Spanish steps, going to toilets that are dirty and unhygienic. They work hard to help us, but we need to help them too. The mess in the toilets has to stop. Our cleaners are not employed to deal with that. If you want to keep coming to a nice clean school building, you need to start showing more respect for those who work hard and look after it. Thank you. It's time to hear from our sports ambassadors with this week's Sport Roundup. Thanks Isla. Football. The senior boys played their second group game this week versus Monifeef. We started strongly but suffered an agonising 3-2 defeat, conceding two late goals. The S4 team however lifted the school spirit with a comfortable 4-0 win against Webster's on Tuesday in the under-16 Angus Cup. <laughs> Our S1, S2 and S3 girls travelled down to Dundee last Friday to take part in the SPAR Future Stars Cup in the RPC. Our S1-2 finished fourth in their group but it was harder work for the S3 girls who fought to the end against some talented teams but finished bottom of the group. Most valuable players S1-2 Hayden Coots, S3-4 Ruby Blackhall. Netball. Our S2 arranged a friendly last week versus Arbroath Academy and this was the perfect preparation for our Scottish Cup game. With a confidence boost win ahead of their match against the High School of Dundee in the Angus Dundee Regional play off on Tuesday. Unfortunately the girls couldn't make it over the line and suffered a 16-8 loss. However it has been a fantastic effort this year by the girls and a lot of positives to build on for next year. Special thanks to Maya, Heidi and Katie who have helped Mrs Irvin and Mr Vernon with training and matches throughout the year. That's all for this week. See you next time. This is a book that I've managed to procure uh, to download for anybody who wants to. Um, it's about a bilingual French and English boy and the difficulties he has when he's living in France. All of the text is written French on one page and English on the other, so you can translate it as you read. And it's quite a nice story. I've not finished reading it myself yet, but I started it last night. It's only free to download for the next three days, so go to the link that's attached to the bulletin and get yourself a copy. Round up. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching.